Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing four easy bows and a gift wrapping hack. I'm starting out first with this basic bow. All you do is pull out the ribbon length that you need and create two loops and cross one loop over the other, pulling it through and then tightening it. And then make the adjustments for the length of ribbon hanging that you want and the length of the loops that you want at the top. And I'm just adjusting it here and just pulling it and then once you fluff it out you can just cut off the excess and that's it next is the double bow it just has two loops on it it's a little more complex than the basic one but not hard to create at all so cut the length that you want and hang it over your two fingers as shown hold it with your thumb and wrap it around and once you get around that one time just tuck it down in that little space there and then just want to push that through and then pull it through from the bottom and then wrap it up between the two fingers and right under the little flap that was created just wrap around the end of the ribbon and tuck it underneath pulling it through right through that middle part and then you want to pull it down because that's going to be the end of your ribbon and you just want to pull that piece tight and adjust it as you need to to keep it in the middle of the two loops and then pull it off your fingers and tighten it as needed but you really want to just tighten that one that you wrapped around the other one should just stay as is then you just fluff out the two loops on the sides and make any adjustments and this is a nice bow to be worn in a hairstyle. So I'm just showing how this bow can be added to a little clip and be used in a little girl's hair. And of course added to a gift as shown. This bow is really cute. So this one is showing how you would want to have something that has some decoration on one side and not on the other so that only the decorative side shows. This is a little complex too, but still very easy to do. So you take your piece out, fold it over with your short end in the front, and then you'll wrap your longer end that's not cut from your ribbon spool. Wrap that right around the front over your thumb. And then when you get to the back of it, just twist the ribbon so that the dull side is then facing out and then pull it up and the flap that you created when you wrapped it around is now going to be what you tuck into so you'll make a loop with a longer piece and tuck that right into that opening there and keep it in the loop formation and pull it right out through the other side And once you get it through, then you can release the bow and you can just go ahead and pull it to tighten it. And you'll just need to adjust it for the size of the loops that you want and, as, and the size of the um, tails. So here I'm just continuing to pull and tighten and make the adjustments so that the bow is the size that I would like it to be. So it's pretty even now and I'm just going to place that down and then cut the excess ribbon off. And that's it. So this last bow, I'm showing how it can be attached as part of this ribbon for a gift. So just wrapping this around um, so that you have the four sides covered and then tie one, not even a knot, just loop it around and cut the excess and then place that to the side while working on the bow. For this you need a pretty long strip of the ribbon and you just want to loop it around as you see here, um, keeping it nice and neat in the middle as you go around. I'm just making a loop on the top and a loop on the bottom until I have four loops at the top and four at the bottom and cutting that excess piece off. And now you'll wanna cut slits on the sides of these loops on both ends 
just enough so that the middle of the ribbon is still connected and then attach this to your gift and you'll take those extra pieces and slide those right into the little slits that you just cut on each side so I'm just showing here how that looks there's one on that side and the other is tucked in there and you'll just make a knot with those two end pieces and pull it pretty tight now the formation of this bow will look different depending on your ribbon but you just want to go ahead and pull the two loops on the top and the two on the bottom on one side apart and the two at the top and bottom on the other side and just keep fluffing it out and pulling and extending the loops until it looks the way you want it to look so I'm pretty satisfied with the way it looks here so it's all done And now the gift wrapping hack for when you have an item that is oddly shaped and you don't have a box for it. So I'm just cutting out a large piece of wrapping paper and folding one end in. Um, this is basically going to be creating a gift bag out of the wrapping paper when you don't have a gift bag and you have wrapping paper but again you don't have a box. So you'll want to cover that exposed end to make it um, nice and straight so just fold it in just a little and then tape it off all the way down the line. And I'll uh, take one end and fold it up just a bit. And then with that opening there, as you see, I'm just gonna pull it across. So where the fold is, I'm keeping that line and I'm making another fold on the other side and doing the same thing to the other end of it. And then taping those two pieces together folding one end down as you see here and then taping that as well and then you just want to tape the ends just to keep everything secure because this will be the bottom of the bag and then I'm just taking a quick measurement of the item that I'm going to place in so I can cut off the excess from the top and then you can just go ahead and open that up and you see how the bottom sits kind of flat there and you place your item inside and then you fold your um, top part down and to keep a nice straight line, just fold that over two times so you don't see that rough edge. And then tape it closed. And with any of the bows that we just made, you can add that to the bag to just give it a little decorative touch. And you're all set for that awkward item. I hope you found this video helpful for any occasion, holiday, Christmas, or birthday. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.